Hi, and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We're gonna whip up a delicious treat for you for Christmas. This is gonna be gingerbread balls, or gingerbread men, or even gingerbread ladies, depending on your preference, uh, for Christmas this year. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of almond flour, and we made that in another video, so make sure you like the Fruity TV channel to get recipes like this one. It's a simple and easy one, takes only a few minutes. Then we're gonna pop two tablespoons of oat flour. Again, another great recipe that you can get here on the Fruity TV channel. We're gonna pop all the other ingredients straight in the blender with our oat and almond flour. One tablespoon, two tablespoons. I'm not very good at measuring. Hope you're okay with that. Pop the molasses straight in, just a couple of tablespoons. Molasses is great for this recipe. I know some of you wanna use other sorts of alternative sweeteners. This one is not a raw sweetener, but molasses is really what creates that gingerbready kind of flavor. you've blended to the desired consistency which is kind of really thick and doughy and sticky and you'll see it comes out in a nice big blob on the end of your tamper then all you need to do is pull it out of the blender jug and roll it into balls or pop it in the freezer for about 45 minutes and roll it flat between two sheets of parchment or baking paper and that way you'll be able to get a nice flat surface so you can use your gingerbread cutters to make a shape what we're going to do though is make it into balls so we'll be back soon So I've started rolling the balls, here's a few that we've done already. All you need to do is take a scoop, about a teaspoonful, in your hands. Now it's much better if you wait until they're cold, but I'm too impatient. Roll it around into a small ball, whatever size you choose, and lay them out. Pop them in the freezer and serve them cold, or if you'd like them to set so that you can give them out as gifts, wrap them up in cellophane and use them as presents, pop them in a dehydrator. You wanna pop them in at about 40 degrees C for about four to six hours until they're just a little bit firm, not quite so sticky. So either set them in the freezer, set them in the dehydrator, but they make a delicious Christmas treat or all year round. Now, if you'd like to get your Optimum 9200 or 9400 blender, remember to have a look in the description below for the Fruity uh, website closest to you. And don't forget to like the Fruity TV channel or make a comment if you've got a specific request for a recipe that you'd like to see on cooking, getting into raw cooking with Zane. Ciao for now, Merry Christmas.